Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we're in my new paint area here and today I'm gonna show you how to make that black dull paint job just pop. So I'm going to take this Agent Venom here that's already base coated black and I'm gonna show you different ways and different things that you can do to really make this stand out. But hey, before we do that, let's make sure that you subscribe to the channel Hit that like button as well, and also leave some comments below later on after you watch this video. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you think about the paint area. Hey, and while you're here, don't forget to go over and check out the new merch just to release some original designs, some very cool stuff over there. I'm waiting on mine to come in, and uh, yeah, go over and check it out. And now, on to the video. So here I have Agent Venom from Cardoso 3D Studios. And I actually printed this in one quarter scale. It's a pretty good size model. Um, and I got it base painted black. Now what I aim to do is I've been looking for a nice Agent Venom to actually start working on my Thunderbolts collection. So this one's gonna be a little different than the norm because uh, the normal one has like the white spider and the different graphics and stuff like that on him. But the, as you remember, the Thunderbolts has red for Agent Venom. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to I'm going to show you different ways that you can make this really stand out. Right now it's just a basic black. It's flat. There's no life to it or anything like that. But when we get done, uh, it's going to really, really pop. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So first thing we're going to do is get into the shading and the highlight part. Basically, the black is already your shade. And uh, what I want to do is I want to highlight it. So what most people tend to do on black is they add a lot of blues and grays to actually bring out the, uh, the highlights and the, the light areas. But I'm actually going to go to the other end of the color wheel on this because I'm going to make all the accents on here red. I'm actually going to highlight it in red. So what I chose to start with, I'm actually going to do this uh, Agron Angron Clear from Citadel and this Air Corn Red here right here from Citadel as well. This is probably the first times I've ever used Citadel paints on any of my videos uh, like this, but uh, these two right here should work really good. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hit it with the clear and then what it's going to do is going to bring out a lush tint, really, really hint to it, and that's going to serve as a base. And then what I'm going to do on top of that is I'm going to go back over with this red and uh, highlight it a little bit more, nothing too stark or anything like that, and really bring out those highlights. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and paint the tops of the head, the peaks of the chest, on the legs, pretty much everything where the light source would come into play. Uh, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll use a little bit of a gunmetal gray on top of these areas on the shoulder pads. Of course, we'll highlight the gun uh, we'll go through and do some uh, some different weathering on all the accessories and everything. And then we're going to really come out with some of these blacks. I'm actually going to go back and do a little bit more deep shading. And you'll see the black that I'll use is really, really uh, going to make it come out. But these highlights are really going to define on how the statue uh, really looks. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this corn red, and I think I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> but we're going to go in and add the on top of the highlights that we just put down, not near as much. It only takes just a faint amount to actually go in and really make this stand out. So we are going to just build on what we put on already. Just takes a little bit, but you'll see the difference. So as you can see, a lot of those little red highlights really stand out. Uh, kind of almost looks a little like Deadpool. <laughs> but next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in with this Createx Midnight Black. This is a wicked color here. This is a really, really deep, rich black right here. Um, and that's probably one of the blackest blacks that I've used. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and do some of the little recesses on here and uh, really pull that depth back out. So 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this ribbed area right here uh, and put some highlights on that. It's up on the uh, chest as well as the thigh area. And what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to use this Panzer series from uh, from Vallejo. This is a German black brown. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these straps on the legs and I'm going to be using this camo green right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is start on the spider and all the webbing up in the eyes and on the chest and in order to do that red I'm actually going to use this scarlet blood right here from uh, Vallejo's game color. So the next thing I'm going to do is do a little dry brushing on the pouches with this leather brown. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sea sponge right here and I'm going to use this gunmetal gray here and do some chipping effect on the shoulder pads and the guns. And then the final thing on the body, I'm going to use this Iraqi sand and use that same sea sponge and put a little effect on the bottom of the boots like he's been walking in the sand. Oops, almost forgot. So I will do a little bit of edging on the red here with this metallic red. I wanted to kind of give it a little bit of sense of armor, a little bit of reflective edges on here, and I think this will make it pop really good. Well, the next thing to paint is the base. And so the base here, I'm going to paint this Iraqi sand, which is the same color I use to texture the boots with. Now I got the base all coated with the Iraqi sand. I'm going to go ahead and add a brown wash to it all over. Okay, so now that the base is good and dry with that wash on there, I'm going to take some of that same Iraqi sand and go back and do a little dry brushing and touch up on the highlights of it. Okay, so now that we got all that dry brushed, uh, we'll go and do some detail work like the magazines, the bullets, casings, the Venom uh, Symbiote Goo, or whatever you want to call it, and then the rebar here, and we'll also do a little bit of rust effect on the rebar coming out of the stone here, and uh, the base will be pretty much done.
So once we have everything painted on the base, it is now sealed. The last thing that I'll do is I will paint the casings on here, weather up the magazines a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of a gloss coat on the Venom Trail here. And this piece will be done. All right, everybody, I hope that helped you out in painting your model, learning new tricks of the trade to go ahead and make that flat, dull black paint job just stand out a little bit more. And speaking of standing out, I have to give a huge shout out to my Patreon members here. Without them, this video probably wouldn't have been possible to make. And I have a couple of new members that we added this week. Say hello to Journey T and Richard Pardue. Thank you guys for becoming the newest member of the Patreon community. And remember, if you would like to become a member of the Patreon, you do have a link below in the description. Go over there and sign up. Uh, right now, we are working on our third official model of the Patreon. In May, it looks like we're going to be making a new Ghost Rider. So all you have to do is join the $10 tier and you will have Ghost Rider when it is released. And remember, if the Patreon is not for you, just support the channel by watching the videos, sharing them with a friend, leaving a few comments, liking the video, and we also have that super thanks below that you can also hit. And don't forget to go and check out that new merch store. Got some really cool designs over there. Show your uh, creative collector pride. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for supporting the channel. Just keeps getting better and better, guys. Without your support, I mean, I probably wouldn't be here. So. Don't forget, stay safe out there, get out and create something, print, print, paint, repeat, and until the next video, we'll see ya. Already working on my second member of my Thunderbolts team.